Crowley, the giant bird, carried Billy and I on his back. He was taking us to the infinite forest. I never thought I'd get myself into an adventure like this. Millie will never believe it. She'll just think it's another one of my silly comic book stories. Millie? Millie's my best friend. We're in the same class at school. Oh, no! Caesar's Beacons! They've followed us! Quick! Use the pentafruit shooters! Quick, Billy! Zeta's bee guards attacked us, but we were able to hold them up using the pentatonic fruit shooter and, of course, a little help from Crowley's amazing flying skills. After the battle, we landed on the edge of the infinite forest, ready to continue our journey. Back at her castle, Zeta was starting to get annoyed that we were still succeeding in our quest to learn the time's tables and decided she needed a new plan. She opened a portal through her magic web and traveled to Earth where Billy's best friend, Millie, was on her way to Billy's house. Hmm, that's odd. I can hear Billy's phone. Billy? Billy! Billy's bag! What's that doing out here? Millie's my best friend. We're in the same class at school. What? That's impossible! That's me going to the park. Okay then, to the park I go. Millie was confronted by Zeta who convinced her to go to Planet Calculus to help Billy. But of course, it was a trick. Zeta imprisoned me, knowing that Billy would abandon his quest in order to come and rescue her. <laughs> Don't you know you should never talk to strangers? Billy! Billy? Are you okay, Billy? Yes, Digit, I'm fine. Now you must enter the infinite forest, Billy. Digit, you know the way to Hipsander's Cave, don't you? I think I can remember. Oh, my Lily, careful as we 